Welcome brothers and sisters. Welcome to the final video of Triple Grace for today. In this video I will talk about obedience is better than sacrifice. Follow the instructions of the Lord. The Lord has always used prophets or people that he could reach to bring message, messages forth to his, towards his children. He always used them. We see that in the scriptures, in the Old and the New Testament. He has always sent people to break news towards his children. And he always required them to obey the words that were given. And if they disobey the prophets, disobey the messages, then they were punished for it. We see it over and over and over in the scripture, brothers and sisters, because obedience is better than sacrifice. So what will it help if you fall on your knees and repent and repent and repent, but you do not obey the Lord? What will it help you that you give everything what you have, but you are not obeying the Lord? And you have heard what the Lord is saying over the last months. That he was preparing you to step into your destiny. That you should become a harvest worker and walk in the spirit of Luke 10 before him to prepare his way. He is calling you out. But who is obeying? Very few people. Very few people are obeying the call. Brothers and sisters, we are talking here about a very serious matter. Your destiny is at stake. What will you tell the Father at the end of your, the time when you stand before his throne and he asks you, why have you not listened at that time? Why have you not obeyed my voice? I have sent them not only through Michael but through many other prophets at the same time. That this is the time now of the end. That this was a time when you should have obeyed, when you should have put on your full armor and come forth, doing the first steps, manifest your face. Why have you not done it? What will you answer? Will you say, oh, because I was so much involved in my own personal world, I had no time for Michael Triple Grace or the other prophets. I had no time to commit myself. I had no time to gather together. Will that be your excuse? Can you not even spare an hour or two for the kingdom of heaven to gather together, for example, in the 88 group? Can you not spare a little bit of time to put on your full armor and to stand ready? Don't you have that time? Why, you, why don't you have that time? Because you're still fully occupied with your pleasures. Oh yes, I have to do this, I have to do that, I have to go to the gym, I have to go to the club, I have to meet my friends, and even my work is more important than my Lord. Obedience is better than sacrifice. The same people who are claiming that they have no time and they are standing with the world, at the same time they are praying for, Lord, oh, let the miracles fall on us, Lord, please bless us. Why should the Lord bless you if you're not standing with his kingdom? You need to obey his voice. You need to hear what is coming forward. It is not about me. It is not about triple grace. It's about the messages that the Lord is bringing forth. And if you listen to other channels, you receive the same messages that this is a time now. This is a time of something very huge, of a mega event, and you are prepared to enter your destiny. Don't get involved in everything that all, everybody said, oh, the church will go. The church is not going now, brothers and sisters. You need to obey what the Lord lis and listen. You need to obey the Father and listen to the words that he's bringing forth to you. There the truth is lying, not in the worldly channels, not in the people that are telling you, tinkling your ears and say, oh, don't worry. You have said one time that Jesus is your Lord, and then you will go to heaven. That is not the case. The Lord is seeking people that he can rely on, where he knows their heart is right, 
and they will never give up until the e end of the race when they will cross the finishing line. There's a big difference between a Christian and a chosen vessel. You need to obey. You need to listen to the words. What are the words saying for such a time as this? To put on the full armor, to commit yourself spiritually and physically, to step forward, to do face manifestation, to register, to, to show yourself, to volunteer. Why are you not doing it? Because you're not standing with the king. You're not standing with the kingdom. You're not ready. If you're not ready in this month of November, you will lose your destiny. This is the time our king is coming for gifts, for anointing, for mantles, and to position you where you belong to. The time of preparation has passed now. Now absolutely obedience is required. When the Lord wakes you up in the morning and gives you a message that you have to bring forth, then you have to place it forth. Don't continue to sleep, stand up and bring the message. Obedience is required. Like this morning I was woken up very early in my time where I am standing and I'm bringing to you the prophetic word for November because the Lord told me three times, it is time, it is time, it is time, Michael. Tell them it is time. If you now not come and gather together, if you are now not part of what we are preparing you for, for you, the, the, the harvest work, the establishing of the holy places, and then the places of safety where we can gather them together at the time when Antichrist is strong and full in power, if you are not building it right now, then you will not make it. I'm telling you, clear and frank and, and free, I tell you, you will not make it. You will be standing in the world when the Antichrist is in full power because you have not prepared. And when you are then standing in front of the Antichrist and you will not give up the Lord and I hope that you will not, then you will be um, somebody that will be killed for your faith. But this is not what God wants. He wants that you step out, separate yourself from the world Babylon and the churches and move the new path, the open door, the resurrection level of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, a new transformed spirit and body and power and glory. When fire is on the mountain, then there is glory in the valley and you can receive that glory this month. But obedience is required and obedience is better than sacrifice. Brothers and sisters, pray over it. Go to other channels. See the messages. They are the same, same messages. Now it's a time. I, there are double portion messages. There are whatever. Yes, it is because this is a month of the return of the king. You are called for us now. What do you think why I'm pressing on you and pushing on you every day about face manifestation and stepping forward as a harvest worker? Because the Lord put it in my mind, tell them, tell them, tell them, tell them, because it is time. The time is here. If you can now not commit yourself, you can never commit to the kingdom. If you can now not commit yourself even for one month, how will then the Lord choose you for maybe five or six years to be a harvest worker for the kingdom? If you can now not stand ready after you have received all the messages and everything from the Lord, great revelation, how heaven will merge with the earth, the garden of time, bending of time, and everything what he has revealed for you to get an understanding what the time is. If you can still not discern the signs of the time, then you will miss his visitation and you will miss your destiny. And you will be like the Pharisees of old who will reject him because you say, oh, it cannot happen, cannot happen. But it happened. It happened. And until today, they cannot accept it. Do we really want to miss your destiny? This is not the month to be worldly. This is not the month to, to seek your personal pleasures. 
That does not mean that you have to, to be 24 hours standing with the Father in, in, in your prayer closet. Of course not. But this is not the time to make appointments for clubbing. This is not the time to, to go for your pleasures, for cinemas or whatever. This is not the time for that. This is the time to listen. To listen to the voice of the Father and to stand ready. So that you do not miss your visitation. Micah 4, eight. Oh, you st stronghold of the tower of the flock. Strongholds of the daughter of Zion. You are called forth now. The first dominion is coming to you. This is your time. When everything what was promised to you will be fulfilled. Whatever you have prayed for, it will be fulfilled now. Because you will enter your destiny. Don't stand at the end of the month of November and say, I have missed my destiny. Instead now, right now, when we are at the brink to enter November, come forth, gather with us together, be part of it. Show forth your face manifestation. Register, show your face. Let the Lord know that you are standing with it. Even if it's, this is not important, to, to manifest your faith or to be saved or anything like this, but it will manifest your faith. Your faith will be seen and your face will also be seen so that you stand separated and you say, yes, he is ready, she is ready. Then the Lord is coming now and will search your heart and will appoint you or reject you. Pray that you are chosen vessel that you have such great destiny to do such a magnificent work for the Lord, to walk before him and to prepare his way for his coming to Jerusalem, to be the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Obedience is better than sacrifice. Stand with us now. Be part of the faith manifestation Register at the Worldwide Registry of Harvest Workers. And finally, obey the messages that are coming forth. This is a month that will decide everything. Either for you to stay on the path or to be rejected. This is the month of the fire on the mountains and of the glory in the valleys. Stand under the glory cloud with us together, so that you do not miss your visitation. Be blessed in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen and Amen. Maranatha.